Cool. What I one of the things I admired a lot about you is um, time management, because that's definitely one thing I'm very bad at, very bad, um, and it comes down to prioritizing as well. I'm sure and planning, but how do you go about uh, time management or what are any tip, like, can you give any tips uh, about doing that, how to get started even? Yeah, time management is a, is a tricky one, especially, actually for everyone, but especially if you're an entrepreneur and you, you just, you have, you have your, I don't want to say time freedom because most entrepreneurs don't have time freedom. Most entrepreneurs are small business owners. So they, not actually entrepreneurs, they are small business owners, right? Time management comes down to, to forming habits. Simple way to do that is use an application. And this, this is what, what, what I've done, what works for me, what I would suggest you can do and what other people can do. Download an application. You can use something like uh, Todoist. You can use Trello or whatever it may be, right? Write down a schedule for yourself. And do it when you're in a state of, of high alertness and focus. Don't do it at night because you're going to be tired and lazy. Do it at like 10 o'clock in the morning or, or two in the afternoon or something, you know, when you, just, when, you, when you just have clarity, all right? Because what that does is you're using your logical thinking. And then the next day when you may be feeling different, you look at that and you're like, but that was me yesterday writing something for me today, for me, not for someone else. It wasn't written by someone else. All right. And this is what I defined is going to be the best for me to do. So whether or not I feel like shit or whether I feel fantastic, I'm just, I'm doing what I've defined for myself, what I've got to do. Right. And you just do that. You set an alarm on your phone for those times and you put it down, your alarm goes off. Okay, cool. Now you go and you do your next thing. All right, go and you do your next thing. Now, time management is a very wide topic because what is like define that? Does it mean like you're sitting and you're browsing, looking at shit? So you're procrastinating. So if you're procrastinating, does it just mean it, it just means that you haven't identified your priorities? So the highest on your list of priorities right now is seeking pleasure, avoiding pain. So if you're browsing YouTube. You just you, you you delaying doing certain things. It's a form of procrastination, right? So one trick that I use, and it, it's not easy. None of this shit is easy. It's not meant to be easy. Otherwise, everyone would do it. Everyone would be great. Everyone will have amazing results, right? Everyone will be peak performance. If I'm sitting down, and and this happens every single day, I get it throughout the day. Like sometimes when I'm trying to get into a flow state, then then I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll find things to go and do. But at the same time, like, uh, I can pour some water or maybe I can put on some music or uh, I want to check your email. Like, I don't do any of that shit. Like, I pour my bottle of water, put my bottle of water down. My phone goes away from me. It's on focus mode. I've got no, no, no alerts. My, my laptop goes on focus mode as well. So I don't get any application alerts. I don't get any emails. None of that. So it's just like, if I feel that I want to go and do something else, I'll go the other way. Because the other way, instead of going to pleasure, going to pain, and the pain is doing the hard thing that I've got to do. And for the most part, the things that we do throughout our days, we're working and working is not always pleasure. Sometimes it's fucking boring. Sometimes you just sit there, like trading, right? You remember when you started trading, you were excited? Now, I'm sure you've started to realize and to know it's like, this is cool, but this is actually quite boring. I'm just sitting and I'm looking at charts and it's like, I'm putting all these things together and okay, cool, I'm doing this thing because I'm refining my skill and I'm being paid for it. So I hope that like elaborates a little bit, you know, to sort of like narrow in on how to structure a day according to what you do. Um, and, and also just procrastination because for the most part, Time management and procrastination goes hand in hand. Yeah, so instead I, of I totally get the procrastination the fridge, part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Instead of instead of going and eating the, the 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 ice cream in the fridge or the banana or whatever it may be, or or checking if the dogs have water if you're working from home, or or, or opening a tab to go check something like, just go the other way. 
Mm. Because probably going the other way is going to get you back on track. And once you're in that flow state, then it just happens. Then you're just there and you just keep going, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. You know? So you create your, you Art. basically create the best circumstances you can to do the right things for you and like eliminate Correct. distractions. Yeah. That's and it. also, I think what is very important is identify what is important to you. Like, yeah. is it either short term pleasure? or short-term pain that eventually turns into long-term results, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Spot on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I totally focus. get what... You've, you've, you've got to Sorry. be focused. Yeah. You, you have to be focused. Hmm. Yeah, I totally get the procrastination. Like, one of the things was this podcast, for example. We recorded the first episode over two years ago. And even that one, I did edit but never published because I was like, this is going to be the only episode because I haven't even recorded anything else or I have no idea what I want to do. Then it took me two mm. years to even move forward with that. And one of the reasons was I wanted to be perfect. And I learned that, or the reason I finally pulled the trigger is I'm not going to let perfect and undone be the bad of good but done right i've talked to this uh about with millie as well our first speaker and it's and i always said this it's better to have three good than one perfect and then just keep doing it and then it goes back to um consistency um and i realize that's very important as well yeah absolutely absolutely yeah, the consistency is a big thing, man. <laughs> You've got to train yourself to become, become con consistent, you know. And um, I think the more things you 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 get in line, and the more you practice on doing these things religiously and and forming habits, the more consistent you'll become. I'm going to get to the topic of like chasing perfection in in, in in just a minute. But the interesting thing is that how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you create consistency in one part, you want that to spread into other areas of your your life, you know, and, and and it's it's important to observe that because sometimes it's not that easy. But how you can identify when you're not consistent is, for example, if you look at your bedroom as an example, right, or your your kitchen or your house. If it's a mess, look at your desktop on your laptop or your computer, it's probably going to be a mess. Go look at your inbox, it's probably going to be a mess. Let's look at your eating habits, it's probably going to be a mess. So you're going to see that pattern repeat in other areas of your life, right? Your energy may be low, but the flip to that is, if your house is clean and you, probably your computer is going to be organized, email may be organized, other things will be organized. Not exactly that, but you get what I'm saying. So you're going to pick up the common pattern present in 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 other places, or other areas. Um, then it's important to notice when you start moving away from from the dip and then more towards the top, and then you want to see when you start tapering down, so that you don't go down, so that you keep it up. And that's where you want to raise your standards and your way of living, right? It's easier said than done, but you've got to just do it. And no one's going to do it for you, right? The other thing is that you were saying about like chasing, chasing perfection is just a form of procrastination and just like waiting. But then you've got these things like your, your fear of judgment and what will people think. And at the end of the day, people are going to think whatever they're going to think. It's always going to happen. Since you were born, people have thought things about you, right? And at some point in time, we've got to just say, like, you know what? I couldn't be bothered. I don't care anymore. This podcast is epic, right? People can think what they want of it, but they're learning from this. They, they're going to be able to take things away. So they will be back again, right? Yeah, not only that, not only others. I decided to do this as a journey for myself. And you've been burning to do this, man. I'm so glad it's on the go. It's so epic. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm actually very excited Sorry. because so far, and thank you to all the listeners, a lot of good feedback already. Um, is I know a few people who've been through amazing stores, who had crazy experiences in their life, who reached certain levels, downs, and like, like they've been to the lowest low, they've been to the highest highs. And I know, as I mentioned before, experiences is one of the most important things for me. Um, especially putting yourself in these situations as well. And they've been through it and they share it with us and they tell us what they did reacting to something happened to them. As you know, 80%, uh, 20% is what happens to you or even less, 10% is what happens to you, but 90% is how you react to it, right? Mm -hmm. One person can react to like a fallback a lot different than someone else. And yeah. yeah, I think that's very important to hear all these stories as well to, to, so people understand that, listen, it can be different. Mm. And this, some people been through it, so maybe you can as well. So I, I really appreciate that you're here.